Hey everyone, we're in Rem, Italy now, and we're heading to the Colosseum. So far, I do not understand what anyone is saying, <laughs> but we're good. So, we're going to head to the Colosseum and see what that's all about, which is up ahead. Barely can see it, but, you know, that's what we're going to do. This is the Coliseum, and we're going to be seeing this tomorrow. So this is the altar to Fatherland, which is used to honor the first king of Rome, Italy. It's a huge place, as you can see. This is the view from the top of it. So that was Pantheon, it's a Greek temple, unfortunately there's no more free um, visits today since, since it's all booked up, so we are heading to this fountain now. This is the Trevi Fountain. That was the Trevi Fountain, and now we're walking on the streets and trying to find something to eat. We just had a nice Italian dinner now, and we're going to head back to the hotel. Um, some more adventures for tomorrow, and yeah, I'll keep you posted on that. So we just saw St. Peter's Church and the square and other things too in the Vatican City and now we're finding something to eat. <laughs> And I'm going to see the Coliseum later today, too, so I will show you all that as well.
Hey everyone, I'm in Milan right now. I left room today and forgot to film a video yesterday. So, um, yeah, I mean, Rome was interesting. It's very like historical, architectural city. Like it's like it's like a city with historical buildings. That's like the best way to put it. It was good. Met with one of my friends there um, the day after I got there, so that was like two days ago. And yeah, we're here today in Milan, meeting with someone else tomorrow. And yeah, I'm just gonna explore um, the fashion di the fashion district since that's like a big part of Milan, I guess. So, you know, we'll go from there and I'll let you see what it looks like. <laughs> yeah. We are at this shopping mall thing right now. And yeah, it's big. So there's a few clips of the shopping mall yesterday apparently that is one of the oldest shopping malls in the world and I think from looking at my laptop here it dates back to let me see here it was created in 1877 so that was a very interesting find so yeah I think today we're going to walk around more I'm trying to figure out like what to do so we're going to do that and we'll go from there we are here in Naviglio Grande Canal here. Um, and this is what it looks like. And this is going to be my last video for Italy. I'll take one more at the airport. And yeah, um, thanks for watching so far. Hey everyone, I made it back. This is the day after, well, two days after the last video, um, which was in Milan. So I didn't feel like filming or documenting my travel back. It was just really tiring. And I was up for like 30 hours technically just traveling and all that. Um, technically, because I woke up at 6 a.m. and I didn't go to bed until 1 a.m. LA time, so 30 hours. <laughs> but yeah, I would say like Italy, more Rome was historical architecture and like city, like it was just nice. But I feel like Milan, I felt like a little bit like I was at home a little bit, just because it reminded me back of my hometown a little bit, which is nice. So it's like, yeah, I could see myself maybe moving there one of these days. Not like it's going to happen anytime soon, but it's like, yeah, it'd be, I, it's like I could see myself being there, which is nice. The people were friendly in Italy, just in general, less like... Eastern European vibe, like atmosphere. Um, but yeah, I want to thank everyone for watching all parts of these videos of my first trip to Europe. And yeah, next up we're going to be doing abandoned buildings, more ventures around Los Angeles, more talks with friends, just the whole plan of the YouTube channel and everything. 
more content. Thanks for watching all of this, and I will see you very soon in an upcoming video, whenever that is. Um, I'm going to try to do it soon. Now. So, thanks, and stay tuned. Bye now.